Right, Connor, thanks very much for joining us again. Um, we know you're very busy and you're training hard for this fight. Um, did your coach, Mickey Megan, give you a training session today or did you have the day off? I had a day off today, but I just went on the wrong machines and done all the way myself today. And probably forgot to put the video on, but uh, Mark and Mar are doing the same thing tomorrow, so hopefully they'll be there tomorrow to do your ring. Good, good. Now, um, we put a wee video off you on Facebook last night. And we got quite a lot of hits. Now, some of the fans out there wanted to ask you a few questions, so I have some of them here if you'd like to answer them. Yeah? The first one's from Sonny Upton. He wants to know where you're taking steroids. Yep. You are taking steroids? Do not think that's illegal? No. <laughs> okay, now the next one comes in from a very good friend of Paddy Barnes. His name is Michael Conlon. He trains on the Irish team with Paddy. And he says, What do you think of Paddy Barnes' speed? He's shady, he can't even run properly. I'm more faster than Paddy. Because Paddy, Paddy's going to get knocked out, so he is in the second or third round. So I just want to see everybody with t shirts on, get them all sort get them all sort behind me, and see yeah. all his fans. Fuck the Evan fans. Uh, just okay. hopefully that to right. see everybody in their dress and suits just firing the door, ladies and gentlemen. So Trying to be there nice and early for 7 o'clock p.m. on the door. Right now, uh, Michael Conlon's actually the guy that um, Paddy Barnes burned his clothes. What do you think of Paddy Barnes burning his training gear? He's a fucking balloon. He shouldn't have fucking done that in the first place, the fucking idiot. Because everybody's making a fuck. He's made him fool out of himself for burning his clothes. It's not, training gear. it's not fucking funny what he's doing. It's not very professional. And the next question comes in from Joe Meany from the New Lodge. You might know him. Rocky, he's known as. He says, uh, what round do you think you're going to win in? Because he's going to do a bet in Sean Graham's. Uh, hopefully second or third round. Second or third, Berlin. Now, we've got a question here from a guy from um, it's the south of Ireland called Lewis O'Mara. And he wants to know um, what kind of flowers you want for your funeral after Paddy Barnes killed you. All different ones. Okay, and Gerard O'Neill from the Clevenville, he wants to know, do you like hospital food? Because he thinks Paddy's going to put you in the hospital. No, I don't like hospital food. Do you think Paddy's going to put you in the hospital? No, because I'm going to put him in the hospital. Okay, now we have a, a question here from Paddy Coakley from Manchester, and he wants to know is there going to be ring girls on the night? Yeah, there's going to be two ring girls, one coming in and one going out. And are they your cousins? Yep. Oh, and, and the next one's from your, from a girl you might know her, Frances Fitzsimmons, she's from the US and A. Oh, what? Well. She wants to know if you can run because she thinks Paddy Barnes is going to beat you as well. Yeah, I can run fast and I'm and, and nice and speed and uh, trying to use more, more, of, more training stuff and trying to get myself pushed up more so I can get at him every time he gets a chance but he can't get at me. So I'm going to have these here to the head and then turn to the body and all. So uh, he, he can't beat me. I'm going to beat him like a wee boy. A wee two year old at him. Okay, and the last question here is from Paddy Fagan, and he says, how do you feel about your Facebook being hacked most recently? Uh, it's a disgrace for everybody. Uh, him himself and all hacking and talking and all, changing the passwords and all, what's from his part and all, I'm doing but fuck them. No problem. Now, the last question here is, do you have a victory dance if you, if you beat Paddy Barnes? You do? You gonna show Fucking shit, all we throw this scarce you dickhead. Now nah, your fucking blood's getting pretty.